Blog Talk Radio. Are you tired of the same old radio? Sure am. Need an outlet to show who you are. Oh, yeah. You want to hear great TV reviews and original shows? Sounds good. Or just new ways to keep up on the Jags? Let's go, Jags. Woo, woo, woo. Join us on Teal Time Radio. The station that matters. Because you matter. Well, hello, Teal Time Radio fans. This is your host, uh, C.T. Jags, alongside of me, the usual, the beautiful Miss Chrissy. Hey, everybody. And uh, today, we're going to talk about South Beach Toe. Well, of course, it's Wednesday. What else would we talk about? It's a Wednesday show. Exactly. And then on Mondays, we normally talk about Lizard Lake after the show. Exactly, but it's not coming back until July 7th. July 7th, and I can't wait. Exactly, same here. All right, so let's get into the meat and potatoes. Everybody knows what we normally do. We normally talk about the important parts and what we think of the show and everything. Um, Please uh, excuse Miss Chrissy. She's a little under the weather tonight, but she's still here. Yes, I'm here, guys. So, So anyway... I, I want to say this. Why do I always got to say I want to say this? I don't know. It's usual uh, thing. Yeah, I know. So, it, it's like it's like this. Haha, I changed it. There you How go. you like me now? Anyway. So, it's like this. That my favorite part in the whole show had to be Bernice. Everybody, you know, knows that you went for a license and whatnot. Yep. And Eddie gets in trouble. As usual. You know. Um, no, poor Eddie. Yeah, just trying to do his normal toe. And, that's why I said. That's why I said that. You know, and. I, that's why I said per usual, just the team. Big dudes come out, and these were big dudes. These were not little well, no, dudes. No, what happened was he was going to tow the car of a, um, of a big shot lawyer. The lawyer called. I tried to beat up Eddie. And those were some big dudes. They looked yep. like some big old Jamaican dudes. Yeah. I would just slam his head right into the uh, right into the tow truck. But, I, was... I mean, there were three guys, and it was Eddie. I mean, don't get me wrong, Eddie's from the streets and everything, but still, he's three... He's from the streets like Bernice is. Well, he's... Obviously. No, I'm no offense to Eddie, but I'm saying... ...to get back in the truck. He's like, I don't want no part in this. I just want to close the truck and go. Yeah. So, so anyway, Bernice is in the middle of her test, and she pulls she pulls over, sees Eddie getting hurt. No, she drives by and she sees Eddie getting hurt, so she pulls over to help him. Ain't damn different. And the lady was it looked like she was, she's like, oh, stay out of it. You shouldn't get involved. Bernice goes, I gotta do what I gotta do, and I don't blame Bernice. I don't either. I would have got out of the truck and did it anyways. And she whooped the heck out of them guys. Yep. You know, so Eddie could leave and whatnot. Yep. And then so she thought she seriously thought she uh had flunked her test, but unfortunately, well, fortunately, I mean. Uh, she didn't. The lady looked at her, paused for a moment, you didn't know what she was going to say. And then she goes, are you kidding? You kicked her butt three times. No, oh, I think she... She was amazing. Yeah, she... Well, that was a different way of saying the same thing that the lady said. Yeah. But, yeah, you know, for all women's, you know, rights out there and, you know, activists and whatnot... You know, the fact that she's a woman, I mean, no disrespect to Bernie. No, but the fact that she's a woman and she kicked the daylights out of three guys, I think that's pretty darn cool. And she did that without any kind of weapon, too. Yep. I always liked Bernice anyways, because I always thought Bernice was an awesome person. Yeah, exactly. She got her own style of doing it, but... She gets I'm, it done. I'm just glad she, you know, didn't get kicked out of Tremont. That would have stopped. I know. She really I didn't think so. I, thought, I figured there was me in some way she would still pass. Because she's a main character. They can throw her out. She's one of the main characters. Eddie Perez, um, Rob Jr., Rob Sr., Chrissy. Those are the main characters. 
they make up the show because they're the ones that are getting ninety nine percent of the of what's going on. Yeah, exactly. Oh, and, and oh, sorry, J Money. Can't forget you, J Money. Sorry. Exactly. Those are all main characters. Uh, uh, well, they're all main characters, honestly. Well, no, that, not that, really. The pudgy man that um. I don't call Cosgrove. Him pudgy man. Cosgrove. Sorry, Cosgrove. Cosgrove isn't a main character because he's new. Well, he might end up being a main character after a while, but, you know. You know, he mean. I think he means well. He just comes he off. Does. He rubs off wrong. He on comes people. off as a jerk, but he's really not a jerk. He's just doing his job, and he's doing it the way he's supposed to. Yeah, it's, I don't like buy-the-book people. Right? No, but, you know, he's try, just trying to do things the way, you know, he's supposed to. Well, there's nothing wrong with that, but no. sometimes you better... Yeah, you know, you you go too far into the box, and we we discussed that last week and whatnot. Oh yeah, it's crazy. So, the next thing I want to talk about is Jay Money. I feel bad for the dude. Poor Jay Money. He finally found a woman that he was and he in love with. He was crazy in love with this girl. Now, girl, if you're smart, you take Jay Money back. That other girl, she was a side street hoe. So she was nothing but a fat side street hoe. And the woman he's with now, she seemed like a nice woman. Don't listen to what the other woman told you. Well, I mean... She's full of baloney, because Jay Money did change. Y- you know... From what i seen. You know what? Since he met her. Just because it's the same restaurant doesn't mean... No. That it isn't Just special. <laughs> that's like, if you took me to a re- If he took me to a restaurant that he took his ex-girlfriend to, now I'm supposed to get mad... Because you took me to I'm trying to think of a restaurant. It w- it would probably be Olive Garden. That's yeah, my favorite but restaurant. That's your favorite restaurant. But let's say we were in Tennessee, uh, Crystal's. Okay, let's say Crystal's was his favorite spot, and he brought his, every girl he's ever dated to Crystal's. Now I'm supposed to get mad at him because he takes every girl he's ever dated to Crystal's. I must be one cheap date to go <laughs> want to go to fast food. <laughs> I know. I'm just using Crystal as an example. <laughs> Crystal's is an example though. It's one of your favorite uh, restaurants down south. They do make some phenomenal burgers. They do. But anyway, I wouldn't care. I don't care if you're taking 500 women there. It doesn't matter. It's still a nice restaurant. The person's thinking of you to take you out to any restaurant, whether it be a fast food well, I or think, a nice restaurant. Yeah, but I think Flanagan's is probably like uh Oh, yeah, I'm sure it's a nicer restaurant. It's like probably like a Bennigan's or around here. No, it's like, probably like a steakhouse or some, like a um, steakhouse of some kind. I forgot what the freaking name is out here. Um, That's really, really good. I mean, I mean, uh, it Flanagan's reminds me. Flanagan's probably like the old Bennigan's. Yeah, it, it reminds me of like a like a Applebee's or yeah, there you, you go, know, there something. you go, yeah, but or, I, or a Chili's. Yeah, there you go. That's it. It would be like me, you taking me to Chili's, and oh, your ex girlfriend uh, Judy will make her up. Says, oh well, make her, uh, me there. So I don't care. He took you there. Once it's again, not our special spot. It's not your special spot. It's a restaurant. Once again, I prefer Olive Garden. That's just the, right. I'm just using that as an example. That's just the Italian. Oh America. yeah, no, but you know what I'm saying. That's just an example to show that you know it doesn't make the restaurant. It's not special just because you took somebody else there. So what? I don't care if you went there 500 times. It's just a restaurant. It's a place for people to go and eat. That was special to him, and he was with his his lady. Yeah, but no, I mean, but the other girl was downgrading it. Oh, well, he takes all his hoes here or something. Well, at least he takes them out. There's some yeah. people that get, take people out to the dollar bed. I'm sorry, there yeah. is. Yeah, but still, I mean, you know, she didn't have to do that. She did that on purpose just to ruin Jay Money's relationship. And there's some guys out there that said, okay, well, we'll go out to the restaurant and go to the restaurant and then make the woman pay for the food. Yep. I mean, so the fact that, you know, he's willing to take her out somewhere, yeah, you know. Yeah, no, that's not the point. What I'm talking about is that other woman stepping in and opening her mouth just to make Jay Money lose that girl, and he did it on purpose. She really did. And I think she's a douchebag for doing it, pardon my friend. Well, she was mad because of car. I don't care. They're, they're, she's still a douchebag. Well, I'm not. <laughs> I don't know personally like that, so, so disregard as far as that. But uh, the way she was acting... I agree. 
Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. The way she was acting. I I do agree. I don't care, because I like Jay Money. He's a cool dude. But but she was getting her car towed and and whatnot. Oh, well, she shouldn't have been doing what she wasn't supposed to. They did have hard feelings. Too bad for her. You know what? You signed to speak about too bad. Because guess what? You should have had permission from the place to have that charity event. This is a family show. We have it on? Family. What? (laughs) Because it's a normal show. Yes, yeah, you're call you're calling her a garden tool. I gotcha. No big yeah. deal. Anyways, she still shouldn't have done what she did. And and as far as what was the other lady's name the one he liked? Huh? What was the girl's name that he really liked? I don't know. He liked this this girl that was that was a psycho. No, no, the bit. one he was dating now. I don't know her name. I'm sorry, Jay Money. I just don't remember her name. But anyway, well, if you're uh, listening... No, I know she had, like, blonde hair. Yeah, but if you're listening, take him back. Jay Money is a good dude, and he would treat you nicely. Heck, he was trying to get, you know, some some guidance from Bernice. <laughs> of course, Bernice is like... Bernice had her own things going on. Yeah, I know. If she I wasn't wrapped up into the, you know, book, she would have helped him out. Yeah. And I'm sure, I'm sure afterwards she, you know, talked to him and was Probably. like, you know, I just had something, you know, major going on and whatnot. So. I had some personal business I had to take care of, you know. Yeah, and I couldn't get sidetracked. Yeah. But well, hopefully, you know, hopefully maybe Bernice talked to her or something. I mean, I mean, if she don't take him back, maybe he'll just find somebody better for him. Yeah. Hey, money is just so cute. I- Thatcher, this, no, this show. It was funny when Eddie's like, Is that you, J Money? No, he's like, J Money? <laughs> he's like, Is that you, J Money? He's like, J Money? He was shocked. Yeah, he was shocked. What? He was probably thinking, What's he doing on this bad? He's a tow truck driver. Why is he out towing? Exactly. Um. I was kind of disappointed didn't see, uh, you know, Christy. I know. My buddy Christy. Yeah, you know, I would have liked to see her, you know, with the baby and everything. I know. I want to see how cute that, well, I saw how cute the baby was when he was born. Well, hopefully they'll show him on the show enough so we get to watch him kind of grow up. Because he is a cutie pie. Hey, exactly. You know, you know, the fact that, you know, she just had a baby and everything. It's understandable. Oh, yeah. It, it's well, you know understandable. what? If, if Rob Sr., you happen to listen to this, Perez did mess up that uh, toe on purpose to get Rob Jr. in trouble. So, Perez, you're a snake like I said you were. Hey, I look at it like this. They're both immature. I'm sorry. They are, but you know what? Perez did it on purpose. Because he knew he was, he knew Rob was going to get that um, promotion possible. Yeah, but if I'm Rob Sr. and I'm looking at it from a business point of view, I'm not looking at it from, you know, family point of view. No, it's nothing to do with family. Okay. It's from, from, do with right is right and wrong is wrong. But from a family point of view, you cannot just base it on this one thing. Oh, Throughout no, no, the no, whole no, thing. one thing, but Chris should still get in trouble because of the fact that he did it on purpose. He's a jerk and a snake in the grass. Well, he didn't know the car alarm was going to go off. No. He put it. He was supposed to put it in neutral or whatever it was, I think, and he didn't put it in the right gear or whatever it was supposed to be in. Yeah, yeah, you're supposed to have it on neutral. Any time yeah. the car is... And he didn't. He, he put it in reverse or something on purpose. Any time the car is uh, rolling, I know that because I used to... Not not like towing and whatnot. Yeah. But when I was a young young kid, you know, I worked uh, you know for a car wash and whatnot. Mm-hmm. And we uh, um, worked on, you know, uh, doing the doing the maintenance for it as it's going going in. I forgot what it's called with the pressure washer and whatnot. Yeah. But every time you put it on, you know, put it on the rack, the car has to be in you know turned off and in neutral. Because if it's not, the wheels aren't gonna, the wheels aren't gonna turn. 
And that's what he, that's what, that's and, what Gray and it's, said. And it's going to lock up. That's and what Gray said. Well, and so that Rob Jr. would get in trouble. I don't know. So, Rob Sr., I think you ought to have a nice little talk with uh, Perez. I'm not saying necessarily give it to Rob Jr., but I'm saying have a nice little talk with Perez. Perez needs to get in trouble. He needs to get put in his place, and Perez is lucky that Chrissy's not there because Chrissy would have put his ass in his place. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. From seeing the show, it's it's kind of close. You can say it one way or another. I, I don't like Perez. I haven't liked him from day one. I know I that. I think he's a scumbag, snake in the grass. I'm sorry, I but not. Uh-uh. don't know him like That it happened so fast when the alarm went off, it could have startled him a little bit, and then the lady came out right away. And with the lady he coming out right right away, doing. he could have lost track of what he's doing. So it could have been an honest mistake. Yeah, but you know what? When you're a tow truck driver, you ain't allowed to make mistakes like that. It's got to be snap thinking. You can't do that when you're repoing. I've been on repos. You can't do that. Yeah, I understand. You have I, to snap thinking quick and. Whether somebody comes in your area to bother you, you know, to harass you or whatever, you got to keep your mind on what you're doing and do your work the way you're supposed to, do the steps the way you're supposed to do them. No, I understand. I understand. It's just like when I had to pull out that girl, you, you know, from her car, you know, when she was talking to her friends and just pull, pull her out, you know, when she hit, you know, accidentally hit the car and drive. You know, to go over the rack and the car hit the other car and whatnot, but that's not that's the side of point. You know, I almost got fired there because you have to have the car in neutral. That's mm-hmm. just, you know, what it has so it doesn't, you know, slide off. That's another thing. Yeah, but that's not your fault. That's her fault because she was in the car. I understand that, but but regardless. It's still your job. It, it is my she job. there and she didn't. It, it is my, you know, it is my job. And like I said, you know, if you don't have it in neutral, number one, you what's going to happen is the wheel, the wheel's going to lock up. And number yeah. two, what what's going to happen is it can go off the track. And if it's on that thing, just because it's tied to something doesn't exactly. doesn't mean the car won't pull off. Well, not only that, it hits a pick it up bump. Usually, when a car wash, when somebody's in the car, they don't usually hold the guys responsible that are washing the cars because it's the person in the car's responsibility to put it in neutral. Well, the whole thing, though, was, no, because we know sitting in the car. Yes, yes, but that wasn't the point I was trying to convey. The point I was trying to convey is what happens when it's not in neutral. Mm. That's what I, that's the only point I was trying to, I'm sorry if we got a little sidetracked. Yes. Um, I mean, other other than that, I mean, you had Perez and, you know, Robbie Jr. just constantly fighting. You know, you had that dude in the... They're worse than my niece and nephew. And they're 13 and uh, 9. You know, if they, <laughs> if they actually work together... They'd be fine. They, they might become best of friends. You never know. They actually work together. There's too many hurt feelings and too many bad... I don't know how you want to put it. Uh, but they make bad blood. But they make word. it personal, and it's not personal; it's business. And I that's know what that. separates the professional from the amateur. But you know what? There's already bad blood. You know Bobby's not gonna let it go. You know how Bobby Jr. is, and you know how Perez is. You know Perez is not gonna let it go. Well, I don't think he. I don't think either of them had, had a legitimate shot to begin with. I don't think the father would, you know, even though bringing him, you know, down to dinner, you know, he may have said, well, this is my son, and this is, you know, may have talked with, you know, the sister and whatnot, you know, or the daughter, Christy, and maybe she decided, you know, maybe, you know, it would be better for, you know, Robbie to be be in charge because I could at least look out uh, look out for him. Yeah. But I, I think, honestly, he was going to give it to Christy anyway. I was not retiring at all, so... Well, if he doesn't retire at all, then... Things with him. It, it will stay with him, but he's going to have to find somebody eventually to replace him. Probably Christy. It will, it's got to be Christy or... 
you know, one or the other. I'm still rooting for Eddie. I hope, Christy, I hope you meet some really nice guy, and I hope he's a big, big buff dude, and he beats the living snot out of um, Perez, that little worm, because I'll laugh my butt off, and I'll be cheering for him. <laughs> Are you an anti-Perez today? I swear. I don't like Perez. I never have. I never will. I don't have anything against him. He's just a... I don't like him. He's a snake, and I've seen him do too much crap to that company. He's trying to destroy the company. Don't you see that? Well, I know, I know, I know if he was boss, he would end up firing Robbie. There's no... Yeah, but there's he's, no trying to, he's trying to ruin the company. So, Rob, if you're listening, don't, don't have that Perez be running the business. He'll run you to the ground. Well, Perez couldn't... That's what Perez is up to. When 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 Perez was running Goodfellas, I believe that was what it was called. Yes, he ran that company to the he ground. He ran the company to the ground. That is correct. Major mistakes left and right. So I'm sure the father had that into play too. I hope so, Rob. I hope you did. Because, buddy, I don't want to see you lose your family business. You worked so hard with all that blood and sweat and tears to build all those years. I want to see you lose it. He's not the one, Perez. No offense to Perez or Robbie, but they're not the one. And I mean... If Robbie could grow up a little and think business-wise first and leave the little boy at home in the sandbox, he'd be fine. I, Robbie needs to, to, to realize that when your work is work and home is home. He needs he needs to mature. Yeah, that's what I mean. I think he need I think he needs a stable woman in his life to help him out. Exactly. Maybe maybe that's the case. Or you know, all good guys need a, you know, stable woman. I know there's some out there like, Well, I don't need anybody. Well, that may be you, but that's my personal opinion. It helps to have somebody to help you stay grounded. And I just think he's just you too lazy, even too too people, immature. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, you know what? Even some of the guys out there, oh, I don't need anybody. And if I'm the right person, guess what? They don't feel that way anymore. So, I mean, that's the whole thing. Now, here's on the, um, you know what we're thinking could possibly happen. I'm thinking Jay Money finds somebody else comes to the window. He's there. He starts flirting, and he's got a new. New old lady. I don't see him. He normally just don't take people back. That girl, he would. He really liked her. Yeah, but he was begging her to come back. I don't. You know, I don't know. I mean, he did. He was a stand-up guy. He did have these. You know, hot per se. You know, to the he really average. Did. He, he really did. He had these really beautiful women. That were very thin, and they had all had nice bodies, and they were wearing, you know, bikini tops and, and well, bikinis, not bikini tops, bikinis and short shorts and all that stuff. And they had the right bodies for it, so you know what? And he said, no, no thanks, my girl's across the street, and I gotta take her out to lunch. Just, that took a lot of, you know. And she for... should have right there that girl, that his girl should have gave him credit for that, and said, you know what, Jay Money. I'm a little mad at what that girl said, but you know what? You showed me your stand-up guy because when all the women were flirting with you and she's trying to show off their boobs to you, you didn't even care. Well, he did look a little bit. But yeah, but he he didn't care. He didn't do what he used to, usually would do. Any, any guy would have a little bit. Yeah. Even, even me. I lo- oh, yeah. You know, I mean, I'm sorry. There's a woman showing that I'm like uh, trying to threaten me. I'm sorry. I'm distracted for a second. Yeah, and then, you know, so. but I still think that she needs to give him the benefit of the doubt because he did show you he's a good man. By the way, the fact of the matter is he got distracted for a minute, but then he turned around and said, nope, 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 I got a woman and I'm not going to get distracted. And he went right back and told them, nope, sorry, I got to take my lady out to lunch. But, but you know, we'll, we'll, dis- <laughs> we'll disagree there. I Well, if she comes back to me, that's great, but I'm not going to go running for her. I don't think he's that type of type of guy. Um, love or not, I just don't think he's that type of guy. But, it, you know, other things I see, I see Bernice 
And I'm going to base it off of, you know, I did see a little bit of the previews and whatnot. Yeah. But I can see her messing with Cosgrove and saying, well, I didn't get my, you know, I failed the test and everything. Oh, probably. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised. And then, and then forcing him to go on a, on a repo and everything. And that's what it looked like in the previews. Yeah. What's going to happen. But I could have called that from a mile away. She's and then I would have stuck my license right in his face and said, see? Well, that's probably And then what... I would have been like, thanks, Cosgrove, because you helped me get my license if I was any... Bernice, Bernice, sorry. Hell no. I'd be like, "No, cause your, he... your little pip talk almost cost me my job. Yeah, but you know what? He also, see, he kept himself, he kept it quiet. He helped her get her license. I would have left it at that, because you know what? I would have been like, look. If I was Bernice, no offense, Bernice, but if I was you, I would be nice to Cosmo. Just be like, thank you, you know, you helped me get my license. Left it at that and left it alone because, you know, we have to work together. So work report is different than report out of work. Yes, out of work, you don't have to talk Yes, to but if she pulled the old man aside, which is Robbie Sr. aside, and said, look, I didn't know I needed a license and everything, I'm sorry, mm-hmm. you know, I'm going to get it now. I'm going to go get it now. He'd be like, no problem. He he isn't like... Bobby Sr.'s a sweetheart. You know, he, he'd be like, thank you for coming to me. Yep. Bobby Sr. is a sweetheart. He's a nice guy. So, I mean... But I really see her messing with him. Constantly messing with Cosper. She don't like the dude. No. He's just... He's just... not a nice person. He's just different. It's not that he's not a nice person. He's just different. He's just way, you know. Yeah, I take that back. It's not that he's not a nice person. It's just that he's got a dry personality, as they call it. He can be an asshole. Yeah, he can be an asshole, but, you know. So. What are you going to do? You know, I, I changed I change my mind a little. I'm like, yeah, uh, you know, you know, if you had to deal with him, you'd be like, will you shut the cuff up? <laughs> Can I shut the cuff up, you asshole? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Treading lines a little tonight at Dale Talk. <laughs> Just a That's little. Right. Look, you fudge another. <laughs> <laughs> what was the one? Uh... You mother of a goat. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Your goat mother. But, uh, yeah, I mean, other things I could see is, you know, I don't know. Christy might come back and be like, look, Dad, I want to. Want a chance? You gave them. These people couldn't handle it. I can hit. I can. You know, manage. You know, having a baby and do this job. Yep. You know. Well, I don't know the way she was talking that day. Right, I've seen this. She wasn't coming back. But you know what? That was just after going through labor and all that pain too. Yeah, so she might not have had her head in the right place at the right time. But she might. She probably was medicated too. Probably. Well, you know what? If, so. she, don't, if she don't have a husband or anybody to help her with the kids. And maybe she might have to for a little while stay home with the child. And then eventually when the child gets to be a certain age, she can put him into daycare. I think it's like six six or eight months old or weeks old. I can't remember. I forgot how old she gets to be age. I, what I really want to see is I want to see Eddie get a big, you know, a big uh, part of the show. Yeah. I mean, it only seems like he's getting, you know, laughed at, and he's getting, um, you know, the... Shoved in the back. Yeah, shoved in the back, and he actually saved the company, and, you know, didn't want any, you know, sympathy or empathy or whatever. No. But if he didn't tell, you know, originally that, you know, Perez was sabotaging him, they might have lost Tremont a long time ago. That's right. So, I mean, you got to give the dude his due respect. I mean, that's just personally what I believe. I'm sorry, but, um, I don't know. Perez should have never been allowed back. After he did what he did, he should have never been allowed back. He's not that good of a tow truck driver. I would never have given him another chance. And he's, he's a smart, he's a smart, savvy businessman. I don't care. But if you tried running my, my, uh, my... Company to the ground like that? I wouldn't hire him as a boss, no. But I would hire him as a boss. I wouldn't hire him as a tow guy, nothing. And he makes money as a tow truck driver. If he was a tow truck driver, he'd be bottom of the rung. Bottom of the rung. Himself 
to be better. Once he proves himself to be better, then he move up a rung or, or a rung or two. Well, you know? I, I think he's trying. It's just. Well, that's why I said put him. At him the and Robbie room. just butt heads. Well, Robbie has nothing to do with this at this point. I'm just talking about in general. I put Perez at the bottom. I make him work his way up. Because you know what? You messed up. Now you got to work your way up from the ground up. It proves to me you're you're actually, you know, who you say you are as far as being a good tow truck, tow truck driver. And show me what you can do. I mean, yeah, I believe if they had him sweep the parking lot one day, he would be like, no, I ain't going to do it. <laughs> I don't know. mean making him sweep the parking lot. I'm talking as far as being the lowest tow truck driver. Yeah, well, we don't know what, what you know, what he is on the totem pole. I think he was pushed up there due to... You know, the connection with Christy. Maybe. So. I still think it's Jay Money for me. <laughs> Baby. Bunny? <laughs> bunny. He's a Jay Money bunny. Okay. Yeah, well, a little tongue twister. But I could be wrong. I probably am wrong. But. I don't know. With that, that's, you know. Sorry, Christy. That's all right. So. <laughs> Well, it's not like Jay Money's a bad bad dude if he no, had or had a woman that treated him right. I don't think, you know, he would you know, do you half that, the um, things he did. Jay Money loves Christy but not like that. Jay Money loves Christy, I think, the way Robbie loves Christy. As a brother sister. I see them having a brother and sister relationship. He would do anything in the world when it comes to Christy, anything. Would go over any mountain, kick anybody's butt, whatever he had to do to protect Christy. He always has. I like him for that, and I think he does treat her like a sister. Not like a girlfriend, but like a sister. You're telling me he didn't have the odds for Christy, the way he used to look at her. I don't know. Maybe um, he did. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, Maybe I've seen he it. did. I mean, I, Christy I've seen is different. very pretty. She's a very pretty lady. I mean... I ain't gonna say not bad against Christy. I like Christy. She's cool. So. And then I think if Rob Rob Senior, if he has a wife, I don't know. I've never heard them mention anything about him having one. But I think she should step up and she should say, "Hey, wait a minute. This is my tow company too." And the mother needs to step up and tell Rob Junior, "You need to grow the you know what up, fudge another up." Yeah, the fudge. And cut the, cut the baloney. And cut the baloney. Because that's the end of it. And stop being an asshole. Yeah, and don't be an asshole. Stop acting like a five-year-old. Act your age, not your shoe size. You stupid simpleton. Yeah, no, I wouldn't say you stupid simpleton. If I was if I was Robbie's mother, Robbie Jr., I would smack him upside his head and tell him, cut your baloney and grow up. Act your age, not your shoe size. And I would walk over to Perez, I'd slap him upside the head and tell him, act your age, not your shoe size. Well, if she, if she was an Italian lady, she'd just say, you stu not. Yeah. So. Oh, no, no, no. It would be more than you stu not. Yeah, but that would she'd be. She'd be cussing an Italian. That would be the light version of it. Yeah. So. But let me tell you something. No. You're lucky. If, if their family's Italian, boy, you'd be in some Serious trouble. And we will say this, and we're going to say this proudly. The band Georgia Red Clay, entertainment manager, has agreed when, whenever, you know, time is uh, available to do an, to, uh, for Georgia Red Clay to do an interview with us. You want to hear some really good music? Listen to Georgia Red Clay. Their music is fantastic. On another note, we have, uh, you know, locally out here in Connecticut, we have Jim's birthday bash. He's doing a promo for, and we're going to get him on the show. Yes, we are. You know, he's uh, in one of the bands he's in. It's called Murray the Wheel, which is big out here. Right. It's, you know, they they know they're not going to, you know, make it as a, you know, nationally known band, and they're cool with that. They're just a, you know, they just the, enjoy the run, their run, run of the bars. We enjoy, you know, being, you know, what it is? I think you know musicians. What it is is they know that even if they don't make it big, they don't do it to make it big. They do it for the love of the music. Exactly. For the love of their fans. 
We also will have Cap from BCB, our Bold City Brigades. Oh, he has agreed. And I feel like, uh, you know, he's a superstar, even though he keeps on saying, no, I'm just a normal guy to us. You know, he is a superstar. A superstar. He's very knowledgeable when it comes to the Jags, and he's got a huge reputation as far as it's outside. It's a bird. Guys. It's a plane. It's Super Cap. Super Cap <laughs> to the rescue <laughs> on Chill Time Radio. That's right. <laughs> but um, I mean, there's other artists which I'm not going. to. on the Twitter, and I mentioned, you know, here and there. Um, but we're just going to say, you know, a little, you know, here and there, and we'll just keep some surprises out. That's what we do here. And, of course, check out our other shows, and we're normally on at 11 p.m. We apologize about last night. What happened with last night is we had no power. That's right. There was no Internet. You can't have a show without internet. <laughs> there was no well, phone. Well, we had power, but what it was, we have no internet. Well, that's what I'm saying. For the show, there was no power. You yeah. kept the power because there's no internet and there's no phone. Yes. Yeah. So. Well, I wanted to know we had lights and stuff. I don't want people thinking we're sitting in the dark. But. I mean, I mean, even the ones that are just downloading off the, uh, lips and don't have time to go on block talk, they got to work in the morning or whatever the case may be. Um, they're expecting it too, and you know, even though we have the mic here, it's not gonna. You know, it's not going to matter because there was There's no, no way to up- We can't upload anything. No. There was no Internet to go to. Uh, it's fixed now, evidently, but last night there wasn't. We weren't too, we weren't a happy camper. This morning, I was not happy either. No. But so. they fixed it, so we're, we're thankful for Comcast for fixing it. Exactly. Well, it, it was good, though, you know, spend a, you know, nice relaxation after all the drama and all the craziness, you know, hardship and, you know, everything that, you know, Leave it at craziness. you know, went on uh, this week. It was good. It was good to have some, you know, nice relaxing, rested for, you know, work tomorrow and whatnot. That's right. So, and yes, I do work a normal job as well as this. Got to pay yeah, the bills. Yeah, you know, works very hard. Unfortunately, this isn't paying the bills right now. In the future, it it could be, but right now it's not. Exactly. So, uh. But we do love our Teal Time Radio. Exactly. We we love broadcasting for everybody. We love our supporters. We love, yeah. you know, all the different ways that we're, you know, trying to market out there. Exactly. I mean, not only do we love our, our radio station, but we love, like I said, all our fans. Because, you know, they all care to take time either whether they listen to us live or they download us. They take time to listen to our show. A- exactly. Or they archive something. Yeah. So, However they listen to it, they listen to it. Yeah. Well, like I said before, some people, you know, need to see something on YouTube. Some people, you know, need to see things on, like, Flacco Radio. Some people need to, you know, see things on iTunes. They just different, you know, strokes for different folks. That's right. You know? But we're on all them outlets and a whole lot more, and planning on being, you know, on a ton more. And hopefully we'll have our business cards out soon enough. It's not working as originally planned. But, hey, that's life. Sometimes uh, life... Throws you a curveball. Yeah, a curve throws you throws you a curveball or throws you a lemon, lemon and you make apple cider. Everybody tells me lemonade. I'm like, no, you have to think outside the box. It's apple cider. That's I don't, right. I don't care if there's no apples and lemons. It doesn't matter. An apple is stronger than a lemon. If you ever got a lemon car, you understand what I'm saying. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> and even if you put the time and work in, involved into it to make it not a lemon, it's still not going to run like an apple. I'm sorry. Unless it's a computer, and then that's another story. But anyway, uh, we're going to leave you off with that, and you all have a wonderful evening. Thank you for listening to Teal Time Radio. This is uh, your host, uh, C.T. Jags, also known as Ray, and over here joined by the beautiful Miss Chrissy. See you later, everybody. And hopefully one day soon we'll be...
you know, joined by Poppy Rod down there again. I hope so. You have a blessed evening, everybody. All right. Take care. Bye. Well, if I ever can find the button. <laughs>